gadgets what's happening. So, got another 3D printer to fix. Alright, so this is a Prusa i3. I guess it's MK3 Plus. Um, but it's actually the first printer, or Prusa, that I've seen that it didn't have the orange stuff. Um, yeah, that's actually exactly how it came. Um, so the issue with this one was uh, the wrong nozzle got put in the uh, block. And then he I guess he took it to some other guy to fix it and it came back in pieces. So I got to figure out uh, how it goes back together. And um, yeah, so that's how it goes. So I, I got to put a new heater block in and got some nozzles. Stuff from Amazon. A couple of heater blocks, socks, and I got some uh, hardened nozzles and some uh, copper nozzles. There's the block. So, I, I tried actually to uh, re-tap it, you know, because the threads were all messed up. Because I had actually had a Creality, this, so this is an E3D uh, V6 hot end, but um, it actually had a Creality nozzle threaded in there, which was stripped in there, so. Um, yeah, the, it had a wrong uh, nozzle, so. Alright, pretty simple fix, I'm hoping. And this PTFE tube looks a little jacked up, so I might replace that. Um, yeah, and then I just got to figure out how it goes, all goes back together. Like I said, it's in pieces, so. All right. Okay, so if you're not familiar with these uh, E3D uh, hot ends, the uh, thermistor is 1.5 millimeter, and the uh, cartridge is 2 millimeter. But because the guy wasn't using a sock, uh, I might have to heat it up just to get that little 1.5 millimeter set screw. There's a little set screw in there, and that basically um, is what holds the thermistor in there. And when he got this thing back, it was all messed up. Like the gear's not on there. It's everything's not on there. So I'm gonna have to redo that. One of the things I don't like about this sort of setup is it's dual drive, like your typical Bontech dual drive, you know? I won't look like they use the Bontech gears. It's very similar to it. But because it's not gear reduction, you have to use this really big stepper motor. Because you need the extra horsepower or torque to um, drive this non gear reduction uh, setup here. I made several videos about uh, even my own Orca extruder. It's gear reduction, but I'm running a NEMA 14. But man, the print quality is not good, you know? I mean, this is Prusa, you know? I know they use PETG, which is not as high quality as like PLA Plus or something, but man, that's pretty bad for factory. All right, so it goes like that. So I gotta get this whole thing operational again. So I need to get this hob gear lined up with uh, that little hole right here because it's not... Alright, it's going to be kind of a headache, but I'll, I'll get it going. Alright, so let me show you this line. So you want to kind of get this in position. and the V6 hot end in there. But to get the hob gear in place, it's kind of... You want it to be... I don't even know if you can see that in the light or not. But you want it to be like right there. It's, like, it's hard to do it with one hand, but you want it to be lined up with the filament insert path right there and you also want to make sure this is on the flat spot on the NEMA 17 here on the shaft there's a flat spot you want to make sure the set screws line up with that I mean to make some final adjustments once I get it all bolted down and then alright all right, so now I got the uh, these two tightened down um, double check the uh, hob gear alignment Make sure that's in the right filament path. And then uh, before I put the sock on, I'm going to heat it up. Because any, you, anytime you actually do like lock down the nozzle, you should heat it up. Because I can already see there's residual like uh, filament on the, on the uh, heater brake here. Um, so what happens is it won't get a secure snug fit. And then you'll have plastic oozing from the top or the bottom around the nozzle. So it's critical that you lock it down after you heat it. So you take a little tool and you have to lock that in place because the two things have to lock together. All right, now this thing's heated up. Do the final tighten up. But I also noticed that, um, now this sensor is off too, the inductive sensor here. I can see that's way too low. Um, so I gotta bring it up and, yeah, because this obviously the inductor is sensitive to hit the bed before the uh, nozzle does. All right. All right, so I typically like to, I mean, I'm not sure what the manual says in Prusa, but I usually like to make this about a millimeter or two. See this right here? 
this right here. Um, that way you're not hitting debris on the, the bed. In case you get like a little booger on the bed, you know, it's not gonna hit that and then send it back into your print. So I, I mean, I could probably make it lower if I wanted to, but usually about a millimeter, two millimeter, it's fine. You just basically adjust it in the offset. All right, tighten it down. All right, so the one thing is I might want a spring tensioner. So I cut down on the existing spring I had to make it fit. The spring tensioner grabs this other side. Don't really like that design. Um, but it pulls it from the other side, like that. And that's what puts spring tension on it. Grabs it, puts spring tension on it. Uh, don't know if it's missing a part on the top here. Like I've seen some pictures where they have a cap on the top. So, um, and that's I'll say the filament sensor. I'm guessing. It's right here. All right, All right the boost is back in action. Yeah, it's a kid's printer. It's pretty cool. He's doing some stuff, parts or designing parts or something. But, um, all right, so the issue with this one was the wrong nozzle, which created a threading issue, which, and then it was all taken apart. So, um, so I had to figure out how to put it back together. I had to add that screw spring. I had to cut a spring down to get, it puts the tension on there. Um, all right, cool, Prusa. I think this is probably like the third or fourth Prusa I fixed. The other ones were a different like wiring issue, like the wiring of the beds were going out, but one was a thermistor problem, the other one was a, you know, just the, eventually the wires will they'll wear out in the bed. Um, that's kind of cool that you had the light back there where you can see the bed. That's kind of a cool feature. Um, yeah, actually, I'd say most of the printers I work on are probably Creality, um, but. Yeah, because they don't sell Prusas around here. I mean, I think it's a special order from Czechoslovakia. But, alright guys, cool, another printer fix.